I decided that since I have not played any World of War at all with any live play, recorded live play, then we might do a couple of activations that way and I'll tack that onto the video or make it a separate video. But I've gotten through the first four, no, three turns. So this is turn four and I've just pulled the Chaos Chip with nothing happened. And uh, Bravo is up. So they're up and we are kind of pushed against a time limit here. Uh, I believe this is a 10 turn scenario. I have to pull the scenario and have a quick look, but we can do that later. Right now, we, we gotta capture this town, get units off the board, and there's a, just a swarm of Russian units here. So let's uh, see if we can't thin the herd a little bit. The first thing we're gonna do is uh, call in two uh, arty strikes on these guys. And we can do that uh, through to a line of sight. We've got a line of sight to here with our, our uh, pardon me, our headquarters. And we've got a line of sight to here. And then I need to roll to see if they scatter, which they do not. <coughs> so we attack with, I think it's two. Uh, quickly. Five dice with a four to hit. That's pretty hefty. So there's two, three, four, five dice. The four to hit is what I said. One, two hits on the first one, which is this guy. And we need to do a save. And uh, and in fact, they both save. All right, and then the next one. No hits. Adi really is just kind of a non-event in this game. Anyway. Whereas I think artillery is devastating to the battlefield, nevertheless. Well, that's a bummer. A line of sight to this guy, but I do have a line of sight to these two guys. So we're going to shoot to the top one with this. It's concealed. So that means we fire four, four, four. Two hits and they roll two dice to sort of save against and they fail, so that's a dead unit. Quick game's a good game, right? Or is that not the case? So that dude is toast. He is almost complete. And this guy here has no range, but I can give him a dragon, which does have range, and uh, he's going to end up dead very quickly, I bet. But we're going to fire at this little punk here uh, with the dragon, and the dragon is uh, three dice with a four to hit. And we rolled a uh, six, so that's one hit. They're concealed. So we get two dice to save and they both rolled did not roll a six neither of those were a six so that guy did I say two hits? I did say two hits didn't I? that's also dead whereas everything else in this game is extremely deadly kind of cracks me up you know what I've got to roll for that guy because he was in the vehicle in fact I don't think I need to roll I think he's just dead Take one of those off. I'll check that in a little while. Another chit. So that means this guy is off complete here. And we pull the turn marker. I have been ripping through the turn markers here. We're not going to get to actually do anything in this game. Okay, the 87th rifle gets to play. Which means. I can put this turn marker back in from last turn. The 87th are over here on the left. They have T55s, which are not particularly powerful, but nevertheless. And one of them's disrupted. And he fails. Oh, that sucks. Oh, wait, he gets to minus the uh, headquarters, subtract the headquarters off, so yeah, he's good to go. So, 
All right, now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's a range of eleven to hit that tank all the way over there. So here's the neat thing about this game. You can fire extremely long range, but you also get uh, benefits for headquarter units. We gotta add one to the to hit if we're firing in excess of our range, up to double the range. And then with the headquarters unit, we can add the we add extra dice to the value of the leadership, which is two. So we get two extra dice, and that's uh, three. So that's five dice. That's not going to be good. Uh, one hit. Is that a forty hit? Right. I'll shoot to sixty hit. So it is only one hit. And then this guy has a. One die save. Rolls a three, that's not good enough, so he is disrupted. Oops. Disrupted. You know what? Over here, this second unit wasn't destroyed. It was only two hits. Disrupted and then reduced. So we're going to take this over here. This guy actually comes back. He was reduced, so he's reduced and disrupted, and the other guy was dead. Which means he didn't lose his infantry. Uh, the sequence of uh, step reductions is you are disrupted on your first hit, then reduced on your second hit, and on your third hit, you die. And on your fourth hit, you have a sip of your beverage. Okay. So, that chappy is... Here is ops complete. I'm going to keep moving uh, these guys over here. And two, three. You know what? I'm going to sit right here. I want them to come to us. These BTRs are fairly worthless unless they're carrying guys or doing their close assaults. So that's really the extent of my turn. And these guys are all ops complete. So. 32nd. Which are the guys all the way over here? Remove the complete marker. Look for something to shoot. Now we need to crank along and get moving. I guess I'm going to have to take the chance I get off fired on one, two, and these guys back here. Have a line of sight right across. Oh, maybe it's here they have the line of sight. That might be actually a little. Pop. One, two, three, four. So it's extended range. They're 264s, they have. The three dice looks like a five, but it's really a three. Three dice. Ah, three dice. And I rolled two fives. That's two hits. So I need to do something useful with my defensive roll. One save, so it's disrupted. Not good, stuck in the open. This chappy, this chappy here is ops complete. So, and technically, this chap here, you'll probably see that guy, so he gets to take a shot. I'm supposed to move these one at a time, so let's do that. So he gets three dice. He's got to add one because it's over the range, and he gets one hit. And I have that to save on. All one save, no effect. Ops complete for this chappy. And this guy goes, so there was one, two, Three, four, that's a pain in the ass not being able to move through each other. 
One, two, three, four. So we'll stack up there. And those guys are both all complete. And that's the end of their move. Another activation. Another American Yankees. Yankee. All right. That's close up. So I've got a roll to recover from disruption, I believe. Headquarters unit right there, so he's in the stack, so he gets to. He's good. Why have I got. I've got Delta here as well. I've got two teams here. Okay, so I'm going to keep moving. One. Uh oh, I wonder if that road. The road does not look like it negates those ruins. Oh, come on with the three for movement. That was stupid. Three six three six. We're gonna go this way anyway. One This guy's gonna try and up fire opportunity to fire that dude. He's an extended range. He doesn't have a leader with him, so he gets three dies on fire. He fails miserably. Would have been two hits if he was less than uh, if it was at regular range. So, what did I say? One, three, five. Okay. But the second is activated again. Okay. Second. 